burgers and coffee today and look who we run into. Hey, Matthew. Yeah. How you doing, guy? Doing good, doing good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if, if any of you guys don't know who Matthew is, Matthew True Blood is, uh, he's been supportive of my build kind of like Jordan was uh, from the very beginning. And actually, the parts car that helped me fix mine came from that guy right there. And he walked up to me at an event just like this last year. So, I think we ought to get his story. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, tell us a story about the car, where you got it, how you got it. Well, it's just a base model 90, uh, 97 Firebird. Um, well, uh, the actual park car that your car came from broke down, of course. Uh, it it completely tore out and rusted away because it was a Chicago car. So I was like, well, I don't really have another little fun toy. And so um, I found this on Facebook Marketplace and um, I went out to it and tried to, uh, tried to find it. And by the description, it was sitting at this like old shop or whatever and I was like okay maybe it's in the gravel now uh, the damn thing was about mm, weeds halfway up to past the wheels it was it was almost completely covered and uh, and the guy that had this car had it sitting for at least 10 years give or take 10 years yeah yeah so it, uh, basically around when Obama was in office was the last time this thing was running <laughs> so um, we actually uh, got it and the engine was blown up and I was like well there's no way in heck this thing is blown up because it has the infamous 3800 and those things you really can't kill them really uh, unless you throw a ton of boost at it now the 3800 boy right here yeah 3800 3800 boy um, so we took apart the bottom end of this thing and it has a fully built bottom end, uh, new crank, new rods, everything. And I'm like, why, why isn't this thing not turning over or anything? We had a, we had a, like a 10 foot pole, a 10 foot breaker bar trying to work this thing over and this thing was just seized up. So we, uh, we looked on the bearings and stuff and it was a... Over. It's a, a like a tenth over bearing, and we're like, what the heck? We're like, why? Why is it like this? And so we uh, we put different uh, different bearings in it, and it started right up. Uh, so the bearings were the issue. The bearings was the issue, and it was just binded up. Um, and so pulled this thing out of the weeds, got it running and driving, and I have less than about six hundred dollars into it altogether. Bought the three, put in a new bearings, which were like 30 bucks. Uh, oh, the fuel pump didn't work, but I already had one out of the old car. Now, did you drop the rear end, or did you cut a trap door? I trap door the bad boy. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was thinking about it, uh, but I didn't want to break the straps off on the gas tank. Uh, that, and it's just a base model, really. And uh, I had to get me a daily driver back up and going. But... Uh, yeah, uh, it's still not the greatest because I think it messed up the, the actual crankshaft uh, when it was binded up. There's a little bit of scoring on the crankshaft, but it wasn't anything that I was too worried about. Uh, the oil pressure isn't the greatest, but I already have a spare engine for it anyway. Uh, I'm planning on, I, I, I have the others. Yeah, so go ahead and tell us. You, you have the spare engine. I've seen the spare engine, actually. Yeah. And uh, tell us what your plans are with that one. Kind of a mild build for right now, at least. But, uh, well, I, I was thinking about... I was thinking about putting a M90 supercharger on it and trying to supercharge some of these cars, uh, this car. Or one like it if I find another one that's pretty cheap. Um, all the forms say that it's not not possible, but uh, I know a few guys that have already done it. Some of them 3800 boys. Yeah, yeah, the most wild group ever. You think 
Yeah. LS boys are weird. Well, <laughs> 3800 boys have been doing some weird stuff too. So I think I want to put a supercharger on it. And I don't want to push it too hard because it has that T5 in it. And oh yeah, this is a five-speed car. I forgot about that. Five speed, yeah. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, yeah, not five speed. Like 300 horsepower. I don't know. Mine holds up pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and you bang on it pretty good too. You rip on it. Uh, but yeah, uh, planning on just putting a little boost in it. You know, just run about five pounds. I think that's where we all start. About five pounds. You know, might put on a little extra weight, but who knows? That's right. <laughs> well, Matthew, uh, I thank you for sharing the story and. Uh, Glad I met you. Glad you walked up that day to me at Cars and Coffee and sold me the parts car because I never would have got mine fixed without it. So. Look at that bad boy right there. Check it out, it's Jordan. Jordan, how you doing, man? Bob. Well, you know, well, not a whole lot. What we got going on here? Uh, cars and coffee, first Sunday of every month, Evans, Indiana, and uh, just brought the Lexus out. So, yeah. It's a 2015 RCF and a five liter V8. I got it. Last year, July of last year, and uh, so far it's pretty much bone stock. Bone stock, yeah, huh? I did a, a, an intake tube, comes with a cone filter, and then uh, uh, oil air separator because these motors uh, get a little oil in the intakes. And other than that, right now I'm just driving and enjoying it. I told you guys you had a pretty cool little car, <laughs> so tell me. How much horsepower is this thing running now? So for the factory, these are 475, 470, 472, 475, and like 395 torque. And then uh, I've seen a couple people dyno them stock with the uh, intake on them, and they're like 390 to the wheel, give or take. That's, so yeah. it's good. It's good horsepower. That's respectable. Yeah. Backed by uh, eight-speed automatic paddle shifters, and it's fun. I mean, trust me, it's a fun. How car. fun is the paddle shifting? Uh, I miss my manuals, but yeah, it's pretty yeah. fun. Bank save the paddles. manuals, baby. So, save the manuals. Oh yeah, save the manuals. Oh, but it is a beautiful car. It, it really does look nice. So, Just the lines on it. I wanted something different, something new. <laughs> and uh. I said that you had a couple of cool cars. Now let's let's talk about this one you had before. So before the F, I had a '95 Twin Turbo Six Speed Supra, and uh, he'll throw in my uh, Instagram account. You can check it out. And it was uh, originally uh, an A five speed car swap to a Twin Turbo Six Speed. I was pushing 400 horse. I had a front mount intake, exhaust, and. Uh, I had the wastegates plugged, so I had a little bit more boost, and I added a hitch to it, and I hauled a trailer from time to time. <laughs> had to be different. Yeah. Then did some wheels and tires, but I had that for four years, and uh, I was ready for some change, something different, something newer. And uh, I actually took a ride in that Supra, and I'll tell you, <laughs> it got down. It did. It for, did get down. Stock it was Supra pretty compared nasty. to what the internet shows now. Thousand horsepower. It was a fun car. It was fun. I loved that, it. that ride was awesome. So. so, well, Jordan, I thank you for taking some no, time, no, I, man. I appreciate it. And, uh, I love it. Like I said, first Sunday, Sunday of every month, I'm out here. 
Yeah. And I appreciate you being supportive of the build and helping Always. me out whenever I need it. So Always here to help. Like I said, I love the car. It's beautiful and clean. So I'm ready to get down in that new rear end and see what it's like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're about all builds here on this channel. All right? builds. All right, guys. Well, that's the F and Jordan story.